Nobody should ever buy a boat without a sea trial. And what should you look for when sea trialing? Is it a dry and smooth ride? Does it go as fast as I want it to go? How much fuel does it use at cruising speed? Is it stable in a beam sea? Does it turn well? All these things contribute to your satisfaction with your new boat. Hi, welcome to Sport Fishing Magazine's Boat Tour videos. I'm your host, Dean Travis Clark, Executive Editor of Sport Fishing, and this is Scout Boat's new Dorado 205. Come on aboard and let me give you a quick tour before we run it. Under the hatch on the port side in the transom is a live boat well. The hatch on this side gives you access to your batteries and filters and pumps, and then there's Scout's signature transom seat. This seat is awesome because it lifts right out if you want to fish, and if you want your family to step through safely, that folds down for a nice clear shot. You have storage for three rods under the gunnel next to the companion seat. And speaking of the companion seat, this great garlic seat folds down into a sunbed. Then on center line, you also have a huge storage area in the floor for wakeboards, skis, anything else big that you want to put in there. The ergonomics on this boat are excellent even for somebody my size. And they call it a dual console for obvious reasons. You have a console in front of the helm and in front of the companion seat. Both have a ton of storage in glove boxes, plus underneath. This one has shelf space. This one over here has wide open space. And finally, Scout fully expects you to bring family and friends aboard. So they let you pass through this windshield to access all this great seating forward and every seat has storage underneath it. You'll find the largest of these dry storage lockers on centerline. It's channeled and drains into the bilge. Forward in the bow, Scout provides an anchor locker with plenty of room for line and a built-in hanger for a Danforth-style anchor. At about 2,500 pounds, including the engine, the 205 can be towed by a mid-sized SUV or station wagon. The 8-foot, 4-inch beam comes in under highway width limits in every state in the Union. Also note that the actual draft of this 20-footer is a scant 10 inches at rest, meaning you can get into some pretty shallow spots for picnics and exploring. The max power rating on the 205 is a single 225, but with our boat's 150, I planed in two and a half seconds and hit a top speed of 46 miles per hour at 5,900 RPM, burning 15.3 gallons per hour. Optimum cruising speed was about 25 miles per hour at 3,500 RPM. At that speed, you'll be getting almost five miles to the gallon for a range of 270 miles. That's Scout's new 205 Dorado. If you're looking for a boat to take your family and friends fishing or cruising, this may be the boat for you. Go to www.scoutboats.com to find the dealer nearest you today, then get down there and drive one. <laughs>